YouTube! It has been so long since I've done a favorites video. This is Iris, which is a new comic book by my friend Kyle Reardon, actually. He is someone that I've known since college, and he's awesome. He actually did the art for the Job Hunters RPG, and he's fantastic. But this is something that he's been working on for a while, and he sent me a copy of the first issue. It's got a really interesting storyline because it's it's got a superhero element. It's about a girl named Iris who is a gold medal Olympian and she actually ends up dying and then they use her as a test subject for these nanobots that they fill her body with that bring her back to life. They resurrect her and then they not only heal her, they continue to improve on her design basically so she gets stronger and stronger and more abilities it's just kind of you know right in the early stages but i really like it so far i think it's interesting and it actually i'm impressed sort of uh tackles some interesting questions about consent because they bring her back to life without asking her obviously because she's dead and you know they've altered her physical being without her giving consent over that and so I think it's it's deep and it's interesting and I really can't wait to see where it goes so I'm gonna put a link down below to where you can find out more about Iris if you want to check it out he also designed the thumbnail of this video so thanks Kyle so this next thing I'm a little embarrassed because I I should have talked about this sooner but I really thought that we were gonna have more summer last year summer went almost into October here in Seattle but it's definitely verging on fall but I wanted to show you guys I've never been like I, I, like a connoisseur of workout wear because I didn't really do much working out. But I live by a lake and I go and I like walk and run around the lake. And so I uh, got to try out some of this awesome workout wear from TYR. Actually my friend's sister works there and she asked if I wanted to try out some of their products and I was all on board. So this is really cool because it's workout gear but it also doubles as a bathing suit and it's really high quality. I really like um, this matching top and bottoms and it has like a little pull string in here and it's super cute color. So you're fashionable but then it's not a big deal if you want to jump in the lake after it's a very ideal situation for me but since we're verging on fall I'm not gonna be using this too much more in the coming months but she also sent me this really awesome long sleeve running top and so I will definitely be getting more use out of this one they also have some really funny products this is a really awesome like beach backpack with like mesh everywhere and then these are hilarious she sent me their swim shades they're basically goggles um, but they just look really awesome, like you look super cool. Let's see, I've got a couple app games that I want to tell you guys about. One I am currently very addicted to. It's, I don't even know why, I just like it. So this one's called Castle Story. It's, it's that sort of general sim game where you've got, like, a village and you're clearing away the trees to build more stuff. It's like there's not anything really that unique about it. It's just a new sim game that I like a lot. It has a really fun... Uh, storyline through so it's not just a sim game. There's a story and there's reasons behind the quests that you're doing. There's reoccurring characters that come up and cause conflicts and if you just like having a new game that you're playing on your phone, I really like Castle Story, I definitely recommend it. So this is a game that I played a little while ago but haven't actually talked about in a favorites video because it's been so long since I've made one, but I played Lifeline, which was great. If you haven't played Lifeline yet, you definitely need to. It took me like a week and a half to two weeks to finish it. It's a text-based game where a person has crashed on a planet and you're their only lifeline and so they're trying to figure out what they're doing and how they're going to survive and where they should go and they're asking for your opinion and so you're kind of deciding what they're going to be doing and the success or failure of their survival kind of rests in your hands and it's really cool it, it works really well where you actually kind of feel like you're talking to someone it really feels like you're texting with a person so it was a lot of fun uh, my roommates and i were all playing at the same time and we'd be like oh hang on i can't talk to you Taylor needs me right now. I really, really hope that this company makes more games like this because it was actually a little shorter than I imagined it would be, but it was so well done that I'm just, I'm just hoping that there's more. Um, I've got a couple of new shows that I'm into. I'm literally still watching Gilmore Girls. I started watching Gilmore Girls back in December and I've been so busy with my job that I am only just now on season seven and I have just season seven left and I, I actually need recommendations let me know down in the comments below what would be a good new show to dive into once I finish Gilmore Girls because it's going to be a very difficult day for me. Here are the other things that I'm currently watching or recently watched. Um, I started watching iZombie. I really like this show. It's made by the same guy who did Veronica Mars and it definitely feels like if 
the creators of Veronica Mars were like, what if we did this but like zombies? I also watched Kingsman the other day, which is a movie that I somehow completely missed hearing anything about until about a month ago, and I loved it. And the really funny thing about Kingsman is that at Fairy Worlds, they had a Victorian cane and umbrella self-defense class that my roommates and I all took, and it was a lot of fun. And I wonder if this class was offered because of Kingsman or if it was just a coincidence because there is an epic, epic umbrella fight scene in the movie and I loved it. Speaking of fairy worlds, I did a bit of shopping there. For those of you who don't know, fairy worlds is kind of like if you combined like a hippie music festival with a renaissance fair with just sort of like a nature fairy spirits spiritual gathering of minds. I don't know. It was amazing. It's out in the woods in Portland and you dress up and it's great, except it was really rainy, so we didn't actually get to wear as many of our cool clothes as we wanted to, but I did a fair amount of shopping. This is some soap that I got because I recently discovered how great homemade bar soap is, and I'm obsessed with it, but I can't even use it fast enough for how quickly I'm buying it. But this is from the Enchanted Soap Company, handcrafted vegan soap. It's glittery on top, and it smells like clove. And it's so good. Oh, I actually totally forgot that I bought these because I like wearing fun earrings. They're just like little, little orbs. Just, that's it. Just little, little orbs. These were one of the last things that I bought. There was a lot of really great, uh, like gem boots, and I got these three. Hey, Justin. Yeah. Can you come here? I don't want to mess this up, so I'm gonna bring my own personal gemologist in here to let you know exactly what these are. This one is rose quartz, I know that. Yeah. And it's awesome, it's in this like awesome, sh what would you even call it, G geometric shape? Um, that's Pointy. a prism. Pr prism, there we go, thanks. What was this one again? This is actually the malachite. Yeah, one. oh yeah, okay, I knew that. And then this was cherry something. I believe it's cherry quartz. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's not something I've ever seen before, but uh, it's it looks like quartz, yeah. but in a cherry like flavor. Yeah. <laughs> Three for twenty was a pretty yeah. pretty good price. Yeah. So that's what I got at Fairy Worlds and all the other things that I'm into this month. Thanks, Justin. I forgot I had one more thing I wanted to tell you guys about. So obviously, a lot of YouTubers do sponsored things. It's how we make extra money. It's how we can sustain our YouTube channels. And obviously, if you are smart, then you pick things that are in line with the things that you actually care about so that you're not being paid to promote things that you don't actually care about. So that's really important to me, and I try to be transparent with you guys about the fact that I do product placement sometimes, but I wanted to tell you because I've recently had such a positive experience with doing product placement, um, and the reason is because of the site called Relio, and there are a couple of sites like this, but Relio is the one that I've really had a good experience with and that I kind of use almost exclusively. I'm genuinely saying this because I've had a really good experience. The way that it works is they'll have a marketplace where brands will post, like, we're trying to promote this comic book, we're trying to promote these gems, and then you can actually apply and, and pitch, here's how much I would charge to make this kind of video, and then they will then hire you if they like your pitch. And it's really cool, and I've gotten to work with a lot of really cool brands. I worked with Naturebox this way, and I worked with Care.com this way, and I really like it because you get to set your own terms, and so you are only ever going to be making content that you're comfortable making. And so I just wanted to let you guys know because I realized that that's not something that needs to be a secret. Uh, Relio is great, and it's available for anyone to use, and so if you've been interested in trying to do some sponsored posts, definitely go check it out and sign up. I'm going to put a link down below to where you can find that out. I try not to do product placement that often because I want my content to stay genuine and I want you guys to know that my opinions are my own and I also only ever work with brands that I actually believe in. So yeah, that's now that's it for my September favorites video. Again, let me know if you have any other recommendations for me and I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>